Welcome back everybody, Boyd here with you. Well, this is part two of our V for Visitors Ships Build series. I'm working a little bit more on the uh, the fighter type shuttlecraft that we worked on in video part one here. We got all the seam work and putty work done on it, all primed up and ready to go. So um, I'm getting ready to finish my paint work on this. What we're going to be doing today guys is we're going to be painting in the windows first here. We got to do these black windows around the front and around the back and um, then we're going to let that dry a little bit here. We're going to put masks over that. So I'm just using some regular Tamiya paint this time. This is uh, X18 for the windows. And uh, I've got it set up on my little airbrush and ready to go here. By the way, you guys, I've got some... Uh, the good people over at Gallery sent me some really nice airbrushes to do a review on the channel. I've got three different ones. And uh, I'm just trying out this first one right here, and it's working really, really good. So look for an upcoming video on the channel on a nice little review in case you're out there um, looking for a new airbrush. These are reasonably priced, and they're very competitive. I'm finding that their brushes are really high quality and uh, right up there with the Iwata that I'm used to using. So look for that coming soon, you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. We're just going to lay down a little bit of this black around our windows here. get way back up in there okay and then we'll go ahead and do the back area here Okay guys, we're looking pretty good there. I'm going to have to let this dry for a little bit. We want to make sure that that's really good and dry before we put any masks on there. So I'll come back in just a second and we'll get our masking work done. Okay, we're moving forward you guys. We're going to start masking off our shuttle here. And you can see I've done the front part here. It's a pretty simple method I use here for these kind of things where you got some nice raised detail that we can kind of feel our way around when we lay a little bit of tape on that. So. I'm just pulling off some masking tape here and um, we're going to kind of cut this out sort of close. I'm going to try to go for this first little top row of windows right here. I'm just going to cut this out kind of a little bit bigger than what I think it's going to be. Okay, and then we're going to, um, I'm just sticking it on my pants here a couple of times so we can get rid of a little bit of the uh, stickiness on this tape and I'll tell you why. I don't want it to really grip super hard on my painted areas here and take the chance of it pulling off but I also I'm gonna burnish it down on here with our little stick so I don't want it to be too sticky where it doesn't want to grab and it'll try to rip on the edges before it gets down uh, nice and flat for us here so it's just laid across like that kind of working on with my finger first and because this thing has these nice high ridges we can see this it's so now just going with my magnifying glasses and I'm just gonna uh, burnish this down on the around the edges before we make our cut here. Got these nice sharp lines. This stick works really good wood because the tip's sort of dull and it it won't uh, dig in and tear my uh, tape. But it's getting really nice and tight along the edge there where the uh, we want to get nice and close with the mask. Okay, that worked out good. Now I just got to be really careful, take my time and cut right along these edges. I'm using a really nice brand new sharp number 11 blade guy. That, that's really important because I'm not having to dig in really hard and you know, scratch the resin, and I can steer it easier if I don't dig in hard.
There we go. That center one just would want to come off of there. Okay, so we got that lined up pretty good. I'm just going to take a quick peek, see if we're not uh, needing any kind of trimming here a little bit. I think this one right here is overlapping just a tiny little bit. I'm going to try to uh, actually it's got kind of a okay it's got a little bit of a gap in it so we'll just do that same little thing make a little patch piece here spot where I went slightly off. That looks good now you guys there's one more uh, little small set of windows here and a couple on the sides I'm gonna go ahead and do those off camera here and get it all ready but that's the process I'm using you guys this will take too long for you guys to watch doing it that way I'll come back and show you that and we'll have it all ready to be painted next be right back back with you again everybody and it's time to put down some paint on our little shuttle here I finished masking off all of our windows and it's looking really good. Um, so we're going to be spraying some of this uh, Tamiya XF2. It's a semi-gloss white. We're just going to try to get you know a nice light coat on here. I want to take it easy around my window masks and everything at first. Lay down a nice even layer. Try to get the top and the bottom and then we'll just kind of let that sit a little bit but uh, we're all set and ready to go. I just used regular uh, Tamiya thinner on this about 20 percent thinner and I think it's spraying pretty good. So we'll start laying down some paint. Not trying to cover it up really good just yet. Since this is a uh, semi-gloss, guys, it's actually drying really fast. It's about 78 degrees here in the shop, pretty dry, so it's really, we're able to go over it again pretty quick here. This is going to give a nice um, sort of pre-shading to this, you guys, too. It's going to leave some nice kind of shadows and stuff on it that'll look good. Once we clear coat it. Just want to make sure I got good coverage now on these frames because uh, once we pull our mask, I don't want to come back and have to paint there again if we can get enough. But I think we're good, you guys. I think we're all squared away here. It looks good on the bottom. Top and sides look really good. 
I ran out of paint there just at the very end, so I'm going to uh, mix up a little bit more paint. We'll let this dry a little bit, and then we'll prop open the hat, you know, the hatch in the stairwell, and uh, get that area painted. Be right back. All right, so we're looking pretty sharp here. Let's go ahead and uh, prop open the uh, hatches here a little bit, and we'll paint a little bit on the inside there. Just gonna get that real quick. Spraying really good here. I'll just kind of lightly go over this, I think, you guys, so it looks... The stairs we're going to do in black anyway, but I think I'm just going to kind of go lightly over this, and that way, it, you know, when it's open, it looks a little bit different in there, maybe. That would be good. Get it to stay open for us. This wall is what I'm trying to do here. You can kind of see the back wall in there a little bit, too. Okay, you guys, I think that's going to about do it for our white. Um, the only thing I'm going to have to do now is I'm going to take, after this is all dry, I'm going to go back in here and uh, do our stairs in black, and I'll just do that with a brush. And then um, we'll be able to kind of look everything over here. And if everything looks good, we can pull our, pull our window masks and everything and see how it turned out. Be right back. Okay, you guys, time for the grand reveal here. We're getting ready to pull our masks off. We got all finished with our paint work. I let this dry for about a half hour or so. She's uh, all sealed up and looking really good. I like the white on there. I like how it's got a little bit of, you know, almost like a little transparent look to it. That's going to look really nice when we put our... Uh, final clear coat on here. Okay, so I'm going to start just working these masks off with my tweezers. Find a hopefully a little spot where I can grab. Don't want to <clears throat> scratch my black if I can help it. Got a tiny little touch-up spot we're going to have to do right in that corner right there. Not bad, though. Looking good, looking good. If I can't get it, I'll move on to another spot. I don't want to try try to keep digging at it if it's not wanting me to go. I don't want to, I don't want to gouge into my black at all.
working out pretty good, you guys. Having more trouble getting the tape off my fingers than actually getting them off the model here. Quick look, everybody. Looking good. Okay, that's all of our masks. I think it looks really good, you guys. We just got that one little spot right here, just a little bit of a, it's almost so small you can't see it, but I'll just take my little fine tip brush and just dab a little bit right in there and touch that up and we'll be really looking great here. So I think we'll end the video here, you guys. Um, that worked out really, really good. It's looking really sharp. When we come back, um, I'm gonna spray a uh, kind of a preliminary clear coat on this before you guys see it next time uh, but we'll take you through the second clear coat after that because I want to just get a nice little seal on here and get it a little bit smoother our um, semi-gloss paint isn't super smooth we want to get a nice little smooth finish on here so when we put our decals down the first time they lay down nice and flat we don't get any uh, air pockets or silvering or anything we'll let those dry a little bit and then we'll come back and clear coat the whole model and in the next video we'll do all that and we'll finish up all the landing gear and the rest of the small details and this one will be done, you guys, so I hope you'll tune in and check that one out. It all worked out really good. We'll see you next time, everybody. Take care and happy modeling.